Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Curated Collective Co. podcast. My name is Megan, and I am so excited, you guys, because the community that I've been working on and have been sharing so much information on social media and YouTube and all the things is finally launching next week on August 14th. So if you're listening to this a little bit later, it's available and it will be available to join. But I'm so excited. I've been working on this so hard and for so long and it's taken I don't just a lot of little things and that's why I filmed that whole series on YouTube of like building a brand and I'm showing you guys on Instagram and TikTok right now like everything that went into it but I wanted to answer all the questions today about what to expect what you're going to get my ultimate goals with it and overall just answer the questions and answer any random questions too about graphic design business and you know all the things so I'm probably going to take you guys with me today, almost like vlog style podcast. So if you're only listening and not watching, that's okay. I'm still going to be, you know, talking into a microphone so you don't have to watch, but I will be taking you guys with me because I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do leading up to the launch and I want to answer the questions as they come in. And I think I'm going to be getting questions throughout the rest of the day today and honestly throughout the rest of the week. So I'm going to take you guys with me, but I want to just kick off this podcast episode by explaining what exactly my goals are for the Curated Collective Co. community. So I have always had this vision and dream, especially when I started my YouTube channel. I I like to follow a lot of random creators on YouTube and even not within the creative graphic design world, just like creators that, you know, post about tattooing or, you know, pop culture stuff. And I've always noticed that they do such a great job of like nurturing their YouTube subscribers or nurturing the people they connect with in a way that they can connect with them outside of that as well. And I love YouTube. It's my favorite social media platform that I'm on, but I just feel like I haven't been able to connect with my YouTube subscribers that honestly have been probably following me. We've been probably like connected for so long and I just have not gotten to know you guys yet because YouTube's, I don't know, like communication style and the way of like chatting with one another is a bit tricky. It's a a little bit more difficult. So I wanted to create a community and a chat room and a place where I can share more random business things, more random marketing things that might not always need a full length YouTube video or a piece of content. It can actually just be a short tutorial that can help. That's helped me that I think will help you as well. So I wanted to create a place where I can not only share that and have like a searchable library of those tutorials, but also chat rooms and also a place for me to like answer those direct questions and also learn from you guys as well. So my ultimate goal is to have this as my main focus. I still have some client work and I still will take clients here and there, but I'm very, very picky now with who I work with and which projects I want to work on because this is going to be my main focus. And I'm so excited for that. Eventually, I want to be a full-time content creator and a full-time educator. Um, But right now I'm kind of in that transition phase of like still working with clients and sharing with you guys those client projects and like all of that information while still wanting to pour my focus and my passion and my, my heart into the community. So it's going to be really fun to see it grow over the next like five years. I have big goals for this turning into like a coaching program tier as well because there's two tiers right now within the community. And the first tier is more so for you to just get access to those tutorials. The second tier is for you to get access to the tutorials, but also to chat with creatives and myself. Um, And then that third tier, which eventually will be in like you know, next year or the year after that will be more so of that coaching program where there'll only be a certain amount of slots available. So I'm really excited for that. I have big goals and dreams for that to grow into something awesome. So that's the ultimate goal. However, I did want to mention before I jump into a lot of those questions that when the community opens on August 14th, that there will be a founding member offer founding member pricing. So those of you who are like ready to jump right into it, I'm super excited to join. You will get a discounted offer that you have forever. So you will get a really good deal on this because it will not be that low again. I even keep looking at the pricing and I'm like, dang, I priced that very low for what it is that I'm pouring into it. But I think that's that's how I wanted to do it because I want designers at any level to be able to join without feeling the stress of like having to invest a ton of money. Although I think investing even a dollar is 
amazing and you should be proud of yourself for doing that. It is $9 for the lowest tier, which is called the Curated Creators, and it'll be $39 for the highest tier, which is the Curated Circle members. So those are the two tiers right now. And like I said, you'll be locked into that pricing. You'll be locked into that, but you can always change, upgrade, downgrade, whatever you want to do. Um, that's easy to do, but you might not be able to downgrade within the founding member pricing if you decide to do that. So just make sure that you join as soon as you can so you can see if you want to downgrade or upgrade within that founding member offer. So I wanted to mention the pricing thing first because I know I'm probably going to share so much information. You're going to be like, okay, how much is this? But yeah, it's super affordable because I will be sharing a new tutorial every single week, one new tutorial every week, as well as design audits. But those chat rooms are available anytime you want. Seven days a week, you can message random photos, you can message anything about business, all those things. And that'll be open for the curated circle members. So if you want to chat with other creatives, get questions answered like quickly instead of like DMs and stuff, then this would be the tier that I'd recommend for you. But yeah, I'm excited. Those are my goals for it. It's going to grow and grow and grow. And I know that it's going to be easier for me once you guys are in there to know what tutorials to make because I'll hear from you guys like, can you talk about this or post a video about this? It'll be so much easier for me to like really collaborate with you guys. And But you guys will get access to a collection that will be labeled start here. And that is the Creative Business Blueprint Collection. This is the collection that I set up because my goal is also not to overwhelm you and not for you to feel like there's just all these tutorials you don't know which one to start with or which level they're at and stuff like that. So the start here collection is really for those who are either, you know, not a full-time designer yet, maybe you're working a 9 to 5 but you have clients or you're just unsure like what it really takes to have a sustainable creative business. This is a collection that I recommend starting with because I go over the creative business blueprint which are the four key things that I recommend you really nail down to have that sustainability as well as I just created this recently and I'm so excited about it, but a 12 month plan on how to pivot into becoming a full-time designer. So if that's a goal for you and you want to do that, then this 12 month plan, I went back to the very beginning and everything I did to help me transition into full-time without stress. And even if you are full-time now, but you're like, hey, what should I be doing every month to make this last, make this work? Then that plan will really help you out. So 12 month plan. I was going to do a six month plan, but I am a very realistic person and a risk adverse person where I don't want to jump into something and like have this constant fear mentality. So the 12 month plan I think is so doable and I'm really excited to hear you guys put it into work and put it into place. So yeah, I'm so excited about that. And then also the start here, creative business blueprint collection will have information on like landing clients, some tips I have on that. And yeah, I'm so pumped about it. But I am going to start to answer your guys' questions because I got quite a few. Okay, the biggest question I've been getting from a lot of you is if this will be one-on-one -on -one direct feedback. So although this is not like a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, this will have as many members, this will be open to however many people want to join. So it won't be one-on-one -on -one direct feedback. However, if you do join as a curated circle member, which is that highest tier option, you will get access to the collections where I'll do design audits, where I'll give you like personalized feedback for two different submissions per month. So make sure to submit those as soon as you can, because I will start to film those and get those personalized feedback audits done for those circle members, but you will get access to that as well as those chat rooms. So although it's not that like one-on-one, -on -one, like we'll sit down and chat kind of thing, it will have access to like personalized feedback and chat rooms where you can get those questions answered. So I hope that makes sense. But honestly, guys, in the next like few years or even year, I am going to offer more one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. So definitely make sure to keep your eyes out for that in the future. But right now, it's more so about the community of all of us working together, as well as having access to a few of those collections that will be more personalized feedback. So I hope that answered your guys' questions, but let me know if that does or if you have more questions on that. Happy to answer it. But yeah, this will be more so 
community style feedback where I'll be like sharing the feedback I'm giving you with everybody else too, um, as well as those chat rooms and everything, which will be, I think those will be super beneficial. I wish I had that when I had doubts and stuff about going full time. So I'm sure that'll help you a lot already. And then someone asked me, is it accessible for complete beginners in design? So my goal is to provide you guys tutorials that are very, very beginner basics to really advance like nitty gritty details. So I am currently today filming some Figma basic tutorials on like literally how to just set it up and which one to like subscribe to, like the basics of it and what exactly you use it for. And then Adobe Illustrator, I'm also showing you guys like how I set up my Adobe Illustrator, you know, just like even just the setup of the software. And then I will be sharing like tutorials on how to do specific typography manipulation, all the little basic things that can help you grow into the design world. So yes, my this community is good for beginners, advanced designers, and even those who just want, you know, to chat. So it'll help designers and creative business owners at any level. Okay. Someone asked me if I can add videos on A to Z of YouTube, Instagram strategies, and brand strategies. So yes, I have two collections inside of the Patreon community right now, which is behind the scenes of the client branding process and the client website design process. So I just filmed one recently because I just had a client project happen where I show you guys like from the very beginning brand inspiration phase and like the questionnaire and all the way to the delivery of like the initial logos, all the things. So I'm showing you guys behind the scenes of real life client projects. And then for YouTube, yes, I will be sharing a lot more about YouTube because I haven't really talked about that anywhere else. And I wanna show you guys like how I edit my YouTube videos, the marketing tactics I have for like titling them, what I've learned about YouTube. I mean, I'm still learning so much all the time, but I wanna share that with you guys because I feel like I've learned a lot of things that have been super helpful for me. So yes, I will be sharing all of that. I already have a video in there about my current Instagram strategy and also how I edit my Instagram videos on my phone, all the things. So I'll definitely be going over all of that. Okay. So someone asked me, is the founding member pricing for the first 50 people all together or for each tier? So there is no limit or no cap on how many people want to join as a founding member. I mean, if like 500 of you want to, that'd be amazing. That'd be crazy. Um, but there's no cap on that. So you guys can join as founding members for that entire time that it's offered, but it will not be offered for very long. So if you're on my email list, you'll see the dates that it's available to be a founding member. And I'll remind you guys like every single day, like it's about to end or maybe upgrade if you haven't yet before the pricing goes up. So there's no cap on that. The only cap on the founding member thing is the first 50 people that join are going to get a free gift from me. So the free gift is my curated brand designer kit, which will include the brand design temp, the brand design proposal template, the contract, the logo design presentation and the branding guideline. And I also put a little tutorial in there for you guys on how to like use it all. Um, so I will be gifting that to the first 50 people. So yeah, join as soon as those doors are open if you want to get that kit, but you still get 30% off the curated collective shop, which has the kit in there. So don't stress if you aren't one of the first 50 because you still get a discount. But yeah, the first 50 will get that gift. So that's the only thing that's kind of capped off, but there's no limit on how many of you want to join as a founding member. Okay. I did get a comment on the fact that you guys are excited and also looking forward to Figma and Shopify tutorials, which yes, I know how important learning those programs are. I feel like I, when I started, I was so intimidated by Shopify, but I've been using it a lot lately. So I've been filming tutorials on like how I've learned how to use it and like how to offer that to clients. So yes, I'm adding all of that in there as well. But yeah, I'm going to wait till some more questions come in and we'll take you guys with me as I answer more. But I did want to mention real quick that if when you join the Curated Collective Co. community, I my goal is to have at least like four tutorials inside of each collection. And there's, I think, around eight or 10 collections right now, um, which I'll probably add more in the future when I get your guys' feedback and stuff. But I want to have four tutorials in each one so that you guys have stuff to go watch and learn and see. Um, but don't stress if there's like not as much as you had thought because I will be adding those tutorials every single week. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well. But let's go hit the road, get some fresh air, and I will answer more questions with you guys. Okay, I got another question and this question was all about 
will I be providing practice files and giving you guys like tutorials that you can kind of follow along with? And yes, I'm actually going to provide you guys a Figma practice file. And I'm thinking I'm going to provide the mobile like UI design, but I am working on a practice file that you can use on Figma. So that is something I want to start providing. And then also in the Adobe Illustrator, I will probably provide you guys a like a link to the file where you can like play around with it. Um, but yeah, I am so glad that you guys are interested in that because that is something that I will be adding in there. And yeah, I'm excited to kind of have you guys be more interactive with it. So that was a great question. Okay guys, I just left the gym. I'm in a Starbucks drive-thru because I really wanted a green tea lemonade. It's so hot. I thought we were done with the heat, but I guess not. So I wanted a lemonade, but I thought I'd answer the question. Okay, but basically I wanted to answer the question I get all the time on the community. Well, I was getting it a lot in the beginning. I feel like now it probably makes more sense as to the difference between everything. Um, but let me get some of this. But basically the difference between the community and the courses is that the courses I would say are great for people who like a A to Z process where they like to like be kind of guided through the tutorials and guided through like what steps to take next. The community is more so a take at your own pace. Like it's not even paste at all. It's just like tutorials that are uploaded that are kind of like random. I'm sure I'll have like series eventually where I'll be like this month I'm going to be sharing a lot about Shopify or this month I'll be sharing a lot about Adobe Illustrator. But for the most part, it is just as you guys request tutorials or as I see questions about it, I will make the videos on it and you'll get those once per week. So it's not like a sequential thing that you have to take like in order. So if you prefer to take things in order and you only pay one time, it's not like a monthly fee or yearly fee, then I'd recommend the courses. But if you want to get access to like new updated things all the time, then the community is perfect for you. Honestly, I would probably do both because the community is so affordable. It's kind of like an additional support to the courses. It's like an additional place where you can go and like get more questions answered that maybe aren't fully covered in the course. So I always try to make the courses as beefed up as possible and like add things in there that are new or changed or updated. Like WordPress, I had to update it and add a Figma lesson, stuff like that. But if you feel like you want some additional support or just to see like other softwares or things or how to use them, then I'd recommend maybe doing both. So I'm also considering adding, and I feel like I had it set for a while, but the more I thought about it, I was like, I kind of want to offer members inside of the Curated Collective Co. community a discount on the courses as well as a discount in the shop. So keep your eyes out for that because I probably will add that to the tiers, to the options, so that you can like do both of you if you want to. So I wanted to answer that question about the differences, but let me know if you need me to clarify that more or if you're like, I don't know if this is right for me. I'll always be transparent and honest with you if I feel like one or the other is better or like, you know, give you all the advice I can. Um, but I'm really excited right now because I just got my first notepad sale. As you guys probably saw, I made a discovery call notepad, which I use for myself. I designed it and created it because I wanted a notepad or somewhere to write notes when I have those initial calls with clients. And like, sometimes I freeze up because I have a little bit of social anxiety. So having this notepad with the questions on there, what to ask, helped me like have an organized process on the call. I just got my first sale for that. So I'm gonna go and run an office depot and grab some packaging tape because I have to like, I have to tape the label to the package. And I don't think I have packaging tape at home. So I'm gonna run and get that so I can package it up. So I don't know if you guys can see, but Leo is laying with me on the little bean bag and it's the cutest thing. And I hope he stays with us for the rest of this podcast episode. But I really just kind of wanted to wrap up the episode by talking about just a few more things about the community since this is the last time I'm going to talk before or the last time that I'll be talking about this before the doors open because the next video I'm posting is on launch day. 
which is next Wednesday, August 14th. So I kind of just wanted to go over a few things that I think you guys are going to be really excited about inside of the community. And the first one is those chat rooms. I know I keep talking about them, but I want to give you guys like a little video right here. So if you're only listening, I recommend checking out the video because I'm going to give a little screen recording right here. But basically the chat rooms are, I'm going to be adding more chat rooms to the Patreon eventually, but they're just a way for us to like literally co-work together like while we're at home. So you can message in there and and send pictures and you know just random things of your day that way we can all like connect and get to know each other and I just think it's kind of fun I'm part of a few patreon communities that do that and it's really fun to be able to like chat with other people um, especially when you work from home so there's that option also another thing to note is that there is an app for this which makes it really nice to like take it on the go. Like if you're driving, you can literally play a video and close the app and it'll still play it for you, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't want to actually want to go back to the chat rooms real quick because I just wanted to mention the ones that I have in there right now. And this is specifically for the curated circle tier. So we have um, one, two, one, two, three, four or five chat rooms in there right now. I have a co-working chat room where I'm like, what are you working on today or this week? Second one is just like a random like general chat room for the circle members. The other one is sharing random photos. I like to share random photos of like things that catch my eye or, you know, Leo or something. Um, and I just think it's the best way to connect and like, you know, see what you're seeing in your day. And it, you can get inspiration that way too. And then the other one is client what ifs. So I'm considering this as like a vent box. Like you can go in there, vent away, talk about some client issues that you might be having or that you want like advice on or questions on. And then the last one is sharing your wins. And I'll, like I said, I'll add more later eventually if we want more, but the sharing your wins chat room is exactly how it sounds. I want to hear what it is that you're achieving or that you have achieved, or like maybe a client said something that you're so excited about, or like if you're learning something, I want to hear all your wins in there and I want to celebrate with you. So that's like something I'm very excited about. But I also wanted to mention like what I would recommend if you do join next week, what I would recommend doing first and like how to navigate the app. So what I would recommend if you are a curated creator member, which is the lowest tier, which you still get great content and everything with that, you can honestly search anything. But if you're a beginner, I would recommend searching in the search bar beginner because I have tagged all the videos that are beginner friendly. So it'll load up all the beginner friendly videos. But you can start from anywhere. You can open up the Adobe Illustrator tutorials and watch those. But yes, I wanted to mention the beginner search thing because I did make sure to tag all the videos that are beginner friendly that I'd recommend kind of starting with if you're brand new. But there is still tutorials in there that are great for non-beginners and people who are just want to learn more of like the advanced things within the software. So I'm trying to tag all those videos based on level. So if you want to search beginner or advanced, I'll be tagging those so that you can kind of search based on where you're at in your business. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to be adding like three to four more tutorials before the launch so that you have a tons of content to go and, you know, look at and stuff before I start my weekly uploads. So yes, I'm so excited. And just to reiterate, I'll be posting a new tutorial every single week one new tutorial every week and I'm so excited. So I know I kind of mentioned that a lot of the tutorials are going to be tailored to what you guys want to learn the most of. That's why I really want to get those chat rooms going so I can see like what the questions are and make videos on that and really tailor it to like what you guys want to learn more about. But I've heard you guys' advice or like your questions on Instagram and YouTube and all that. So I've been taking those and making videos on them. But yeah, I wish I had something like this when I was starting out. So I really think it's going to be really valuable for you guys to have something where you can take it on the go, search, you know, whatever question you have in there. And always, if there is no video on it, please like reach out to me, go chat in the rooms and let me know like what video you'd like to see, because I'll always be listening to those and making videos on that. So Anyway, I'm so excited. So August 14th is when the doors will open. If you're on my email list, you'll get an email leading up until then with a link to go and join as a member. Um, but definitely join my email list because I'll send a mass email out to everybody on my email list when the doors open and the founding member pricing will only be available for like a week. So definitely be sure to keep your eyes out for that because the price will not be that low again. It's a very, very, really good deal. Um, like I said, it starts at $9 and the highest tier is $39 a, 
a month and then you can pay for the year up front for like 15% off of that. So yeah, anyway, I'm so excited. But if you guys have any questions, even after listening to this video, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I'll be on the DMs. I'll be on my YouTube channel. Wherever you have questions, please let me know and I will get back to you. But thank you guys so much. I also wanted to mention how much I'm grateful for you guys and how thankful I am of how supportive you've been of this brand build out and just the sweet messages I've gotten. It's been really encouraging and really motivating to build something like this and just really excited to finally release it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. But yeah, also I just wanted to give a little quick mention since we're talking about Curated Collective, go check out the website. It's up and live and you'll learn a lot more about the community on there. So I'll link that in the show notes and in the description of this podcast episode. But go check out the website. I'm really happy with it. And it's my first website that I've ever owned on Shopify. I've definitely used Shopify, but never had my own website on it. So go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. But I hope you guys are doing wonderful and I'm going to leave you guys at that and I will see you on launch day. But thank you guys so much for listening and I'll talk to you guys soon.